Another examination you can do in the ED is the evaluation of kidney for nephrolithiasis. And this is a relatively easy examination to do. We're going to do, again, using the phased array transducer, your all-purpose ED transducer. And the first view that we're going to look at is a sagittal view of the kidney. So I'm going to start on the right side, but I will do both sides to show you how to do an evaluation on both sides. And we are going to go in uh, on a, with the orientation marker pointing to the patient's head. So this will be a sagittal view. And I'm going to go in fairly laterally. With this starting point, I can quickly identify where the kidney is. In the anterior aspect of the image, you see the liver. And immediately posterior to that, you see a crescent-shaped organ, which is the kidney. And so what I want to do is evaluate in a long view, sweeping medially and laterally, looking at the cortex to determine if there's any echogenic or bright shadowing stones. So I can evaluate the superior pole, sweep from side to side, and come and look at the inferior pole, sweep from side to side, and look in the mid pelvis area of the kidney to determine if there's hydronephrosis an indirect sign of nephrolithiasis. Once I've finished the sagittal sweep, I'm going to turn the transducer so it's in a transverse view with the marker to the patient's right. And using the same window as I did for the sagittal view, identify the kidney. It'll now appear as a horse shoe shape. And we can see the renal vein coming into the pelvis of the kidney. And I'm going to sweep superiorly until I move past the superior aspect of the upper pole. And then sweep back down inferiorly, seeing the mid-level of the kidney, renal vein, moving down a rib space and into the inferior pole of the kidney. And I continue until I do not see any tissue of the kidney anymore. An important part of a kidney evaluation is a bilateral comparison between the right and left kidney to determine if there's hydronephrosis present on one side versus the other. So we'll go ahead and do the left side as well. So an easy landmark here is just to identify the costal margin and then move up one hand's width and bring your transducer in uh, at the mid-axillary line. This should get us right in the area of the spleen and the kidney. You may need to move up a rib space or two to determining on how high and how small the spleen is because you're using the spleen as your window to evaluate the kidney. So if I move up a little bit, I can see the superior part of the kidney on this ultrasound image. And I'll just sweep from side to side. Again, looking at the cortex of the kidney, looking at the renal pyramids, and also trying to determine if there is hydronephrosis present. And then I'm going to move down one rib space, evaluate the lower pole of the kidney, and sweep medial to lateral to make sure I've looked at all of the tissue. Because these stones can be quite small, so you have to do a very thorough evaluation. Once I've completed this view, I'm going to turn the transducer to a transverse view. So I'm going to turn the transducer counterclockwise, and the marker again will face the patient's right. This will give me that horseshoe-shaped appearance of the kidney. And if I start at a mid-level, I will see the renal vein entering the pelvis of the kidney. And from here, this is my midpoint, I'm going to sweep superior. I might have to go up a rib space to find it. Go all the way through the kidney, superior pole, and then start to move inferiorly to mid-level. Continue on down, inferior again to the lower pole of the kidney, and all the way out. So that completes the kidney evaluation.